Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Magic Knight Rare Earth. We are in the final stretch. So I recorded all of this as one huge segment and broke it down to do post commentary because I wasn't entirely sure how long all this was going to be and I didn't want to cut anything out. So we've defeated Zigot. We've defeated Zigot's uh, dark machine or rune god depending on your translation of it and princess emerald is behind the door and from the dialogue things seem a little sketchy i guess is the best way to say it clef won't go in with us because he knows something we don't and that's that's the point he's said that he's already he can't say anything more, he's probably said too much. S something's rotten in the state of Denmark. We walk in. And on a giant flower. At least I believe it's a giant flower. That's what I believe it's supposed to be. We see Princess Emerald. Is it true that you really did destroy Zagat? Yes. Notice the hesitation. And even the look on her face. It looks like she's that icon is her crying. And then she just yells unforgivable. So she was in love with Zagat. And now Clef talks to us. He doesn't, you know, come into the room, he's just gonna talk to us. That seems to be his MO for the entire game. Is, oh, I'm not going to actually be with you. I'm just going to talk to you from a distance. It's safer for me that way. Because Princess Emerald loves Zagat deeply, she placed Sephiro at risk of complete annihilation. Knowing she had betrayed a sacred trust, Emerald felt ashamed and sought to punish herself. She therefore summoned you, the Magic Knights, from your world. Because only ones called from outside her domain could defeat Princess Emerald, the cornerstone of Sephiro. Alright. So Clef gives us a rundown, but it's still kind of vague. Basically, the two were in love, and she couldn't she can't be in love, because that puts the world in danger as well. And so Zagat wasn't, he didn't kidnap her, he was protecting her from us. Which is messed up, really. I can never forgive those who have slain my one true love. Your fate has been sealed. And like everyone else, she has her own giant robot of death and destruction. But yeah, it's... Zagat and Emerald were in love. She can't be in love because her, her thoughts have to be pure, and she can't have, I guess, pure thoughts while she's in love. Not sure what that's supposed to, to represent or anything. But as long as the, she was in love, the world was in danger. Zagat didn't want to stop loving her or, you know, remove himself, so he... He mock kidnapped her because when she summoned the magic knights, he knew this was the outcome. The magic knights were going to have to kill her. That is like the most depressing plot twist ever. And as we see, the <coughs> machine or room god that Emerald has is more powerful than our individual ones. I say individual for a reason, mainly because I have to paraphrase part of this here in a second. Makona! Get out of here! It's too dangerous! Clef, how will we ever defeat Emerald's machine? It's too powerful! Magic Knights, don't worry! Now is the time to unleash the power you have nurtured since your arrival in Sephiro. Demonstrate the power of your fierce will and conviction. If you believe in yourselves, 
the strength of your machines can overcome any and all obstacles in your path. Call forth your power, Magic Knights! The power of our will. The power to save Sephiroth. We will have the strength to finish our to finish our mission. Alright, as you saw there, um, I had to cut the scene short because my copy of this game is a, you know it's a legitimate real copy, but it's never been able to load that one scene ever. So to paraphrase, what happened is we put forth all the the experiences that we've had, and you get a flash scene of all the the people that we've met and we've helped. And Makona uses that power to transform all three room gods and machines into one giant room god, which has ridiculous awesome. And as you can see, our health rate is insane, and we are. It's combined all three of our attacks into one big attack. And our spell here combines all three of the same sort of trigger as triple. little rundown on Emerald's machine. It uses the same pattern of attacks, which we think would make it really easy to deal with. Not. I mean, shoulder orbs that burst into shotgun fragments, which I forgot about. You can destroy most of these things uh, if you attack them at the same time. Uh, out of the hands come the little sparkle meteors that attack you. Then the chest shoots out three lasers. And the is left. This fight actually... Oh, and the I-beams. Almost forgot about i -beams. This fight can be easier as you go along because you're actually destroying the weapon systems as you're fighting it. So as you see, we've already taken out the head of her shoulder, which are the cause of two of the attacks. And now we've taken up one of the hands. So, we're taking out parts of it, and then it becomes easier. So, if you've gotten to this point, you're starting to get a little low on health, just be careful. You can still win. It's still good. Because it does become a lot easier. And then, once you destroy the last one, or the, the last piece of it, they block. All she will have left is the chest piece, the three verse chest piece. And then she will start rotating her neck to shoot the items. So we have to stay up towards the top there. And then rotate around so that she doesn't you know, track in the section. Very doable fight, even with me not working on some The only problem is our spell is that sort of you use the No matter how much uh, upgrade your characters, because that's the max that get. And we have defeated him. Kind of a bittersweet defeat. Excellent work, fair magic knights. But Clef, have we really done the right thing? I mean... Don't despair. For you see, the outcome is exactly as Emerald had planned. And at last, your destiny is fulfilled. <gasps> Princess Emerald! Hikaru, Umi, and Fu, you have fulfilled all that was asked of you. Remember this, no matter where you go, the strength of your mind and spirit And we head back to Tokyo Tower. We're back to our own world. I'm actually going to end my commentary on this part, but uh, there are more parts coming up, so I will see you in those future parts. Until then, later everyone.